Woo, we all got something exciting today. What's going on guys, it's Nando back with one more video. This is late, but I'd rather be late to the party than not show up at all. No introduction needed, Google Pixel 3 XL. This guy over here has been my daily driver, Huawei P20 Pro, for a very, very long time, and this one is about to be replaced by this one. So I got this bad boy during um, Cyber Monday or Black Friday weekend, whatever that, that special that Google um, had going on regarding the Pixel lineup. I think $200 off for this guy and then $150 off for the smaller um, version. Obviously, I've already opened this up, but I just wanna show you guys what was inside and then I wanna compare it real quick um, to the P20 Pro. Stay tuned for more videos. I'm gonna do a likes and dislikes on this guy like I've done with all my other videos on my phones and then a final review and then maybe a comparison between this and the Note 9 and this and the P20 Pro, maybe a comparison between all three. So, let's go ahead and get this bad boy open. Pixel 3 XL. So obviously I've already uh, unboxed it. I absolutely love the feel of this phone in hand. I like the feel of this phone in hand a lot more than I like the feel of the P20 Pro. And just a quick comparison, they're very similar in size. Um, biggest difference is that notch at the top. It's hard to tell right there. Let me see if I can, there it is, see that notch? With Pixel, you can't even see it based on their, just their software. Um, but basically, think of the P20 Pro's notch as a very smaller version of the Pixel 3 XL's notch. What sucks is that there's such a big notch on the XL version while the smaller version doesn't have it. So I don't know why um, Google had to have the notch. I, I'm not a notch hater, so let me... Let me say that, I've never hated notches. Um, it is what it is to me, as long as it pushes the boundaries and does what it needs to do and allows us to have a much more edged edge display, I'm cool with it. I just wish that possibly the bottom portion of the screen here stretched further down than it does. Um, I'm more concerned with the chin than I am with the notch. But anyways, this is obviously the black version. Um, when you turn it around, you got the two-tone, so the portion on here is more of a matte finish so it does pick up fingerprints the portion up here obviously the more reflective glass um, it's all glass um, it does charge wirelessly so thankfully Google finally introduced that and then um, you've got the same I believe the same camera setup as on the 2XL so the biggest differences this year for Google with this phone has been the waterproofing, I believe, and then the front-facing cameras, there's two of them, and the AI. Google's all about some AI. So let me put this off to the side real quick. We'll talk about a couple more of those features here in a second. The rest of this comes with um, paper, right? So SIM ejector tool, probably like a quick start guide. Um, if you don't know how to start your phone by now, then I don't know what to tell you. And then you've got earbuds in here that's kind of cool they almost remind me exactly of the pixel buds except they're not these are actually wired USB-C style so that's cool then you've got your USB-C to USB-C charging cable then you've also got a dongle for the headphone jack another one for like a USB type A and then in here your wall charger could be put away just right Anyways, so there you have it. Now back to the Pixel 3 XL. No uh, front facing unlock system. Like Android has had facial unlock for a while, but not to the level that Huawei has taken it. I mean, just look at this. Boom, see, it already unlocked. So I am gonna miss that facial unlock on the P20 Pro. Um, but you do get arguably one of the faster fingerprint scanners in the game here on the rear and I think it's just positioned just right so it unlocks it securely and fast and basically like we all already know I mean the Pixel 
lineup is all about um, software. Google is software first and foremost, and that's what this phone is all about. You're still gonna get the squeezeability, so you're gonna be able to squeeze to bring up uh, Google Assistant. You're gonna be able to say things like, okay, Google. Okay, Google. I don't think it's registered my voice, so I won't do that now, but whatever. But you should be able to say that, and then obviously Google Launch. You're going to have the newest and greatest you know, Android software, so if you're a fan of stock Android, you're most likely going to enjoy this one, and we're with Pi right now. And um, that's pretty much it on this phone. I mean, every other update has been kind of incremental. One thing that I've noticed early on is how good the front-facing speakers on this phone, how, how good they are. Um, huge improvement over the P20 Pro. These just get louder and just better sound overall. And then of course, I'm super excited to keep trying and playing around with the uh, front-facing camera because it has some new features and the rear-facing camera, in particular night mode. So yeah, there you have it. Pretty simple, basic unboxing, guys. Um, if you have any questions, if there's anything in particular that you want me to test on this phone, let me know. I'll always test the basic things like casual user experience, battery life, things that stand out that I love, things that stand out that I hate. Um, things that I think you guys should you know, think about when using this device or if you're going to purchase this device. And then before I make my final verdict, I'll review it with the uh, Huawei P20 Pro, possibly the Note 9, and then review for all three. So hit that thumbs up button, hit that subscribe button, and let me know what you think in the comment section below. And like always, guys, stay geeky. Peace, salute, and adios. And I'll catch you in the next one.